Okay, in this scene we're going to talk about Ice Oniazid, represented by this ice skating knight over here. Ice skating knight for Ice Oniazid. Ice Oniazid is a drug used in the treatment of tuberculosis, TB. And that's why in this scene over here, the enemy is the TB guy, Terminus of Tuberculosis. And specifically, it's the only agent used as a solo prophylaxis against TB. And that's why this TB guy over here has an axe with a P on it. P, axe, for prophylaxis. You know what, let's put the TB guy to sleep for a second. This is to help us remember that isoniazid is also used as monotherapy for latent TB. That's when TB is sort of sleeping, and it's not active. And you might have noticed over here that this tuberculosis guy has his microphone over here with the acid coming down. This reminds us of mycolic acid. And the knight here is destroying it to remind us that isoniazid works by decreasing the synthesis of mycolic acid. Mycolic acid is necessary for the synthesis of the mycobacterial cell wall, and thus without it, mycobacterium can't survive. But wait a second, let's take a look at this knight over here, because there's this cat that's watching him. His cat is watching him, this cat that always has a pear on his head. The cat with the pear. The cat with the pear is going to remind us of catalase peroxidase. Isoniazid must be initially activated by a bacterial catalase peroxidase enzyme because it is a prodrug. Okay, now let's talk about adverse effects and toxicities, because there are a lot of them associated with isoniazid. Take a look at the ads that are on the side of this ice skating rink. The first thing we see is this liver over here that's exploding, which is going to remind us of a well-known side effect of isoniazid, and that's hepatotoxicity. And this can range from abnormal liver function tests to hepatitis. And then we see the CP450 over here, and it's exploding also, and this reminds us of the cytochrome P450 inhibition. And next to the CP450, we have this lemon with the minus sign on it, or the anion sign on it. The lemon is going to remind us of metabolic acidosis, and the minus sign for anion gap. Another adverse effect of isoniazid is anion gap metabolic acidosis. Here we see this loop over here sticking out of the rink. The loop is going to remind us of lupus. Drug-induced lupus is another side effect of isoniazid. Okay, now let's talk about that bee over there. You might have noticed that there was this bee here holding these sticks. The bee with the sticks is going to remind us of B6, and it's going down. It's going under the rink over here to help us remember the B6 deficiency. Isoniazid can lead to a vitamin B6 deficiency, which can lead to symptoms such as peripheral neuropathy, represented by this nerve over here that's attached to the bee, and the red blood cell attached to it that's exploding is going to remind us of the sideroblastic anemia. Seizures may also be a side effect. Just as a final word to make this more complete, in terms of metabolism, isoniazid is metabolized in the liver through a process of acetylation. Now there are two forms of the acetylator enzyme, a fast form and a slow form. The patients with the fast form metabolize the drug more quickly than the patients with the slow form. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on isoniazid. Please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for our next video in pharmacology.